Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole. If you enjoy beauty, fragrance, or makeup, then you are definitely in the right place. I'm super excited for today's video. I absolutely love reviewing complexion products, and I have two of them today. The first one is the new Tula Ultimate Sun Serum SPF 50, and the new Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. Now I am in my mid-30s, I have oily, dehydrated, acne-prone skin, so quite a few different skin concerns, and one of my favorite concealers of all time is actually the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. Now the original Shape Tape is a little bit too drying for my skin type, but this one I have absolutely loved. So I'm really curious to see if this new Radiant Concealer will beat out my Holy Grail Creamy Shape Tape. Now if you're excited to get started and enjoy the video while you're watching, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And let's get started right now. So this is what my skin is looking like with nothing on it, only my moisturizer from earlier. So let's get started with a bit more skin prep and get into this new Tula Ultimate Sun Serum SPF 50. So this is actually the highest level of SPF as far as Tula sunscreens go. Actually, I think this is the highest level of all the face sunscreens that I have in my collection. Now most of the sunscreens that I have in my collection have a radiant finish. This one is supposed to have a matte finish, so let's see how it looks on the skin. So let's give this a shake. I do hear a ball on the inside. Now I'm pretty excited to test out this sunscreen. It's supposed to have some blurring effects to the skin, and as I mentioned, a matte finish. Now this is a mineral SPF. Ooh, it is quite runny, and of course white. There is a little bit of a scent, just like a regular SPF scent, but it is not strong. I do find with mineral sunscreens, I do have to take just an extra minute to rub it in. It doesn't appear to be burning the eyes, so that's always exciting. It shouldn't since it's mineral, but you never know. Now just be careful with the packaging. I do recommend immediately putting the cap on before you rub it into the skin, just because I do have a little bit of product that did come out. All right, I got you guys zoomed in. That way you can see how this SPF is sitting on the skin. Quick side note, I did already apply a separate SPF to the forehead before when I was styling my bangs. So right now we are really just focusing on this portion or the lower half of the skin. So go ahead and take a look. Now I must say, I do think this SPF looks beautiful on the skin, but I wouldn't say that it has a matte finish. Now what's really interesting is when I swatched that SPF on my hand, it did appear to dry down to a matte finish, but on the skin for me, it appears to be a little bit more radiant, and I wouldn't say it feels fully matte either. So what does it look like to you guys? Overall, I do think this is a beautiful SPF, at least so far. We'll have to see how it does with makeup over top. But I would say it is a little bit more radiant than I was expecting. All right, next let's move on to the new Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. Let's first do a few swatch comparisons, that way you can get an idea of the texture and the undertones. Now I decided to pick up the shade 12B and the new Radiant Concealer. So let's see how the shade 12B compares to the Ultra Creamy in the same shade 12B. Interesting, so just from these swatches, I can definitely tell a few differences here. So the first swatch is the new Radiant Concealer in 12B, and this is also 12B in the Ultra Creamy Concealer. So the first thing I'm noticing is that this shade is a little bit darker, so the Radiant Concealer must run just a little bit darker than the Ultra Creamy. It also appears to have a little bit less coverage and also be more radiant in comparison. I also recently reviewed the new Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, so I did swatch these as well. So these shades I always forget, so I have to take a look here. But the lighter shade is RN1 and the darker shade is R2. Well, I am excited about the shade because the one thing about the Ultra Creamy in 12B, it is just a little bit too fair for my skin tone, but with the rest of my makeup on, I can definitely make it work. But the next step up as far as cool tones is just a bit too deep for me. So I'm excited that the new Radiant Concealer appears to be just a little bit deeper than Ultra Creamy. And I do have my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, which is one of my favorite concealer brushes to use. 
and I also have a few damp sponges, but let's get started with the brush. Now I do typically wipe off the doe foots of these applicators with shape tape because I prefer a more natural look, but I do expect this concealer to have a bit less coverage than Ultra Creamy, so I am going to apply a little bit more than I typically do. I think I'm going to attempt to use this concealer as a foundation or at least spot concealing, but we'll see if it's too light for that. I usually use a separate eyelid uh, concealer or primer, I should say. But for today, I'm just going to apply it all over. It's blending out quite nicely so far. All right. So that is one light layer. No concealer, concealer. Now before I apply concealer to the other eye, I did just want to point out a couple of things. So I do think this concealer is more of a hydrating formula in comparison to the creamy shape tape. Now I don't find the ultra creamy is drying whatsoever, but this one definitely has more moisture and more radiance. And it also appears to have less coverage than the ultra creamy. I've been using that concealer for years. So I think it looks quite natural, even though I only have concealer on. And the last thing I'm noticing is I do have just a little bit of purple in this area right here. So this is definitely not a full coverage concealer. Just with that one light layer, I would say it's more light to maybe medium. All right, let's try a sponge for the other side. And again, this is much more concealer than I typically would use, but it does have less coverage than the other shape tapes. And I have my damp little beauty blender here. Oh no, I have an eyelash on my eyelid. Make a wish. <laughs> All right, well, I do think I prefer a damp sponge just because I do have quite a bit of dryness in this area. Now, even though I have oily skin, underneath my eyes where you apply concealer, it does get quite dry. So I do think with this one, I will prefer a damp sponge. So I'm just going to go back over with no additional product on this side and just repress everything in. All right, so concealer is on both under eyes. So what do you guys think so far about how it's looking? Looks quite natural, a bit hydrating, not super hydrating, but it definitely does have a radiant finish. So let's do a little bit of spot concealing and use this concealer in place of foundation today because it is not a full coverage concealer. Hopefully it'll work out as far as a shade match goes. So let's get this on the rest of the skin. Let's try the damp sponge. You know, the one thing I am liking about this concealer, it does appear to spread pretty nicely. Whereas the Ultra Creamy, it just has so much more coverage. So I just don't find that one spreads quite as easily as this one does. Well, that blended out very quickly. All right, so just a bit of concealer on this side. You can still see some of my blemishes and redness peeking through and nothing on this side. All right, let's do the other side. I might go back in and build this up a little bit, but let's just do one light layer to start off. Now it's interesting because with the Natasha Denona concealer, that one I definitely prefer with a brush.
All right. So one light layer. Let's put just a bit on the forehead. I don't apply a ton of product in that area anymore, just because of course my bangs do cover most of it, but I do wanna match. I do not wanna have a super red forehead. So I do get quite a bit of redness in this area right here. So I am going to build this up a bit. You know, the one thing I really wish Tarte would correct is whenever you use this concealer, the product just kind of spits out and gets quite messy even after this one time use here. So hopefully one day they'll work on that. All right, a full face of Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. I do think the shade is perfect for my skin tone. And because it does have less coverage, it did kind of double as both a concealer and also a foundation. I think it looks very nice, natural, and radiant. I did just step out towards my door, that way you can get a little bit better of an idea near natural daylight anyway. So let's take a look at the skin. I think the under eyes look nice. Definitely does not have a ton of coverage. You can still see some of my blemishes and redness. So yeah, definitely not full coverage. I'd say more on the light to medium side. But overall, I do think this looks great over oily, dehydrated, acne prone skin. All right, well, I will see you guys at the end of the night for my final thoughts and the wear test. All right, you guys, I am back. Now it's only been about four hours since you last saw me apply my makeup. I have tons of thoughts about this new concealer, but before I get into all of that, let me first show you what my skin is looking like in natural daylight. So as you can see, my skin is very, very radiant and glowy. This is probably one of the most radiant concealers I have tried ever in my entire collection. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think my skin looks beautiful with this concealer. Yes, my oils have started to come through, so I am looking a bit shiny, but overall, I have texture, I have pores, I have breakouts, and overall, I think my skin looks beautiful. Now, I don't say that lightly because my skin is not in the best condition right now. So most of that is definitely coming from this concealer. And the great thing is, even though this concealer has a radiant and glowy finish, I don't feel like it is emphasizing any of my texture or my pores. And right now I have both oily and also dehydrated skin in addition to breakouts. I don't feel like it is emphasizing any of that. I just think it gives me a beautiful, healthy glow. So I'm sure you can tell based on the smile I have on my face right now and also when I was outside, I absolutely love this concealer. Now that said, do I think this concealer is going to be a big hit or a favorite among many? No, so let me tell you why. So first of all, this concealer definitely only has light to light medium coverage. Now yes, you could probably get a true medium finish if you went in with a brush, but that is just my application method of choice. So overall, if you are looking for a medium to full coverage concealer, this is probably not for you. Now, the other thing that you probably noticed when I was outside in natural daylight, this concealer does have a bit of creasing. Now, here's the deal. In my experience, when you have a radiant and hydrating concealer, it is almost impossible to have no creasing, especially if you do not set it with powder. And no, I did not use any powder in this wear test. So I do think you could prevent some creasing with a hydrating and radiant concealer if you go in with powder. But the biggest thing with this new Tarte Radiant Concealer, I would not recommend setting this concealer immediately after application. And that's because I do find this concealer really needs time to set into the skin. So if you go in and apply the concealer and powder right away, because it does have a very hydrating finish, you're probably going to be setting those creases almost immediately. So I would recommend if you are going to go in with powder, give this concealer a bit extra time to set and then go in. So who do I think this Shape Tape Radiant Concealer would be best for? Most likely someone who does not have incredibly dark under eyes or dark circles, who enjoys a light to medium coverage, and who also enjoys not only a radiant finish, but a very hydrating finish as well. Now that said, I do have oily skin myself, 
but I also do have a bit of dehydration. So this is probably not a concealer that I would reach for to set the entire face in the middle of summer when I'm sweating and my oils are coming through, but especially when my skin is dehydrated or I want more of a natural look, this is definitely going to be a concealer I'm reaching for. Now, the other thing I wanna mention, a lot of people probably wonder why I don't set my under eyes with oily skin. Well, aside from the fact I do get a bit of dry patches underneath my eyes, it's because if concealer creases throughout the day and I don't have any setting powder, I can easily go in with my finger and just do a little tap tap and then those creases are gone. But if I've already set it with powder, there's really nothing I can do. So if you are looking for a matte full coverage concealer, this is probably not going to be the concealer for you, but that's why they already have the original shape tape. Now that said, is this radiant concealer going to replace my ultra creamy? No, however, I am definitely going to be using this in addition to this one. Now in days where I'm going out for the evening or I want a full face of makeup, I'm probably still going to reach for the ultra creamy. But on days where perhaps my skin is a bit dehydrated or I want more of a natural makeup look or I need just a little bit extra hydration, then I am definitely going to be reaching for the new Radiant. Now, real quick, I did want to touch on this new Tula Ultimate Sun Serum SPF. I also really am enjoying this SPF. And as I keep mentioning, I have a ton of different skin concerns. This is a beautiful SPF. Now, even though this SPF did not provide the matte finish that I hoped it would, just because I do have so many different SPFs that already have a radiant finish, I do really like how this sits on the skin. And this SPF did not interfere with my makeup. It didn't pill or anything like that. So if you are looking for a sunscreen that has just a hint of radiance, it's also mineral and does not burn the eyes, this might be worth checking out. Now that was just my experience, so definitely let us all know down below. Have you tested out either of these products? If you did, what is your skin type? How did these products sit on your skin? Let us know all of your thoughts down below. Well, I really hope you all enjoyed today's review and wear test. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help this channel to grow. Thank you all so much for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.